another monday yet another ios beta it seems that ios betas are spreading at the same rate as covid 19 with ios 14 just around the corner at wwdc this rate is not expected to slow down anytime soon we will keep this video short and tell you about the status of our reported bug and a couple of new changes in this beta so let me tell Hello YouTube, Sufyan here from Let Me Tech. Welcome to our channel. Before we start, I would like to tell you that we will be dropping some Android videos soon for which we received a lot of requests. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel and hit the bell icon so you get the notifications as soon as we upload those videos. Now let's talk about this iOS beta. Apple renamed iOS 13.5.5 beta 1 to iOS 13.6 beta 2. Just like iOS 13.5, this is the first time in history that we have a 0.6 release for an iOS version. The rename happened due to one of the two new features in iOS 13.6 beta 2. That feature is a new section in health app named Symptoms. This is really helpful as now you can keep a track of what you are feeling and this will be very useful for the doctors for your diagnosis. Apple has added quite a few things in this section including mood change, vomiting, heat burn, lack of breath, lack of taste, sore throat and shortness of breath. Now the last three features they seem to be specifically related to COVID-19. Will Apple somehow link these to the COVID-19 exposure logging? As of now there is nothing that suggests this but maybe in future Apple will somehow integrate these. The second update in iOS 13.6 beta 2 is in the software update section. Previously you only had the option to toggle automatic updates on or off. Now this has been made customizable. Now you have the option to individually select whether this update should get downloaded or whether the next update should be installed as well. These toggles are now separated and you can see them on the screen here as well. This gives users much more control of when the OS should be updated. One of the known issues regarding home screen web apps has been resolved by Apple along with other minor bug fixes. However, our reported issue is still not resolved in this beta. Let's try our luck next week. If you want to know more about that issue, you can check our previous video in the cards above. That is all for today. We tried to keep this video as short as possible. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Until next time, take care, over and out.